Hi, this video is the Art of Hair Transplant Restoration Surgery um, on an, uh, a client who flew in all the way from England and he's half white and half black and uh, we trying to restore his hairline you know, he has a receiving corner on both sides but not both of them are even and so what we want to lower it down uh, this client he doesn't want to completely straight across because um, his facial structure because he's half white is a little bit narrow and he want like an Ob Obama hairline pretty much and so it's a slight curve up but not com not an arch up like a typical Caucasian hairline um, yet he doesn't want to completely flat so as long as it follows the contour of his face on the average from the mid eye round to the hairline is around six and a half to seven centimeter and um, for African American and uh, Asian and for Caucasian from mid eye round to the hairline around seven and a half to eight and a half centimeter this client is falling in the neighborhood around 7 centimeters. And again, we just slightly curve up. And when the hair comes out, it looks straight across anyway. Um, again, if you look at all the photo of uh, President Obama, he's similar. Um, it, it's a little, it's slightly uh, curve up, but if you look at a certain angle, it's completely straight across. And then we zigzag, again, the smaller zigzag uh, for black hair. Uh, versus the Asian and Caucasian will have a bigger zigzag. Why? Because most uh, black young black men like to line up the hairline anyway. So you have such a big zigzag then the hairline, uh, when you line up the hairline is too high. And then once you get the shape down, uh, we try and plan a very precise angle around 15 degree exiting and increase when you go backward and change it when you go a different direction. So the precise angle is important too. Selection of, of hair graphs is important. We try and plan rows and rows in the hair graphs in the front followed by a root to go two hair, three hair, and four hair in the back for broken volume. So we're trying to reestablish his hairline, work our way toward the back. And we're going to be using the FUE method. As you know, FUE is the most advanced technology and the least invasive of the two when it compared to the strip method. The strip method harvests a whole strip of skin, leaving you a linear scar, running from one ear to another ear, permanent for the rest of your life. You can never ever wear your hair short again. If you do the FUE method, it leaves you a tiny doctor scar, scatter throughout the back of the mosaic pattern, allow you to wear your hair shorter. Both methods leave scar, but one with the linear scar is more visible than the tiny dots of scar. <clears throat> um, the, but you know, the FU is not just less invasive, um, less, uh, less visible scar, but it's less painful, um, less numbness, and recovering is better and less side effect. Uh, and I, I do both the strip and the FUE, and the strip is for a client who completely lost all the hair. And the benefit of the strip is you can move a large number of grafts, like five, 6,000 grafts per day. But the FUE is good for like 2,000, 2,500 grafts. Although there are days I can go beyond 2,500 grafts. And so this is the art of hair transplant restoration surgery on a client who uh, flew in all the way from England. And he liked the nice hairline, which is, again, like our President Obama. Oh. Thank you.